So today we're going to talk about electrons and why they are delivered with constant Joss values. What is the difference in isotope curves for high and low energy electron beams from cones specifically? And what is the uniformity index for electron beams? So the first is why do we have constant jaw size values when we're treating electrons? So that's because there is a huge variation in output with the jaw size, especially in lower energies. And so because of this, to really compare, we need constant jaw sizes when, you know, when treating, when we're doing dosimetry, or when we're doing some of our outputs, those have to be constant jaw sizes. Otherwise, a small change in jaw size can result in a very large dosimetry change, something clearly we do not want. So what is the difference between isotope curves for high and low energies? So let's go ahead and do a drawing. I'm much more of a visual learner, so I think this hopefully will be helpful to you as well. So for low energy, this is supposed to be a straight line. Please be with my uh, shoddy craftsmanship and artistry here. So this is a 100% line. Fairly straight, not too bulged looks like a normal 100% ISO line. So now when we come to the, let's do a 60, this is going to clearly be more bulged. You can see near the bottom, and certainly in your exam, you may want to be a little more dramatic and just say, this is for dramatic effect. It looks something similar to this because they very well may have you draw something, and this is something you may have to draw. But see near, as you go further in depth, the dose starts to bulge. And now if we do something uh, somewhat drastic, like let's talk about the 20%, then we got something really drastic, something similar to this, and that is a 20% line. So that is low energy. So the low dose bulges out, whereas the high dose kind of straightens out. And we will see that right here, high energy. I'll just keep, man, I'm not good at drawing straight lines. So like the low dose, the 100% is pretty straight, no real bulge there. And then at 60, we don't necessarily get a bulge. We see a bit more of a curvature on the bottom portion of the curve as it goes deeper, but we don't see the bulge like we do right here. Instead of going, this goes for the most part straight down and then bulges more toward the depth. The low energy will bulge outward as it achieves that highest depth. And then for the 20, this will start to bulge a little bit, but it's nothing like it is for the low dose. So that would be 20. So then for the uh, high energies, the low dose lines stay pretty straight and the high dose does pinch in some. So finally, what is the uniformity index for uh, electron beams? And so this quantifies the amount of penumbra in the electron beam. So it's the area of 90% isodose line to the 50% isodose line. And normally, the uniformity index, what we want for a large field, is greater than 0.7. If that is lower than 0.7, that's not really acceptable for a large energy electron beam. And you need to work on beam data configuration, things of that nature. So in just your Linux. So points greater than 0.7 for large fields. If you have any questions about electrons, about these topics we covered here today, please comment below. I'm happy to help where I can. Thank you for watching. Happy studying.